What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Creepy Crawl. So it's 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 May the 4th. I know I already uploaded a video. It's Star Wars related. That was coincidence, believe it or not. That was just a bunch of stuff I had left over from Disney <laughs> that I forgot to make a video about. So I'm, I'm starting to tear this thing apart and finding out that it's going to work better for me than I really anticipated it. I might even be able to reuse the electronics, just add different lighting, or f somehow find a way to make this work in my benefit. Either way, um, this is going to work. Uh, the only thing that might be challenging is getting a rechargeable style battery. I'm hoping I can clean out the inside of both of these areas here, on the face and the back, and can put in something like, like this fuel rod. You know, it's just something real simple to uh, power it and have the USB port be stuck on the cap and right there. Um, and then I can seal the whole thing and then just find another way to have access to it should I should I need to. Um, but if you're curious at all, if you're curious at all, this is what was inside the thing. Uh, this board here went <clears throat> right here. I kept the screws in their places. Uh, there was a button slid right in there. This guy right here. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, it could also be used later on for a trigger somewhere else. Uh, I don't like it here. I don't like it here at all. I kept bumping it by accident. Turning it on. Uh, turning it off is a little harder. You have to actually press and hold. Uh, so there's not an issue there, but turning it on was way too easy. So uh, your rumble feature motor right here. Obviously was in this little cradle spot here. At least it looks like it should have been. <laughs> Um, and then you had this little doohickey, which is the switch, which cradled in here. And then the rest of the lights are literally just taped on to the blade itself. I'm going to use the blade as template, um, but not so much for the actual piece itself. In fact, I may keep this piece, cut everything around it, and then paint this section here to look more metallic. Um, to give the actual acrylic blade I put in here. Uh, some guidance and then make this some kind of a cartridge system once I have it all together uh, the beauty of this thing Is it looks different enough from the actual prop? That once I finish with it, it it'll be somewhat unrecognizable as a light year toy and hopefully it'll look more in universe again if the Mandalorian mercs don't like this weapon I'm still doing it for my own purposes now, I come from a town that is called Melrose. So maybe I can just be a local guy, you know? The Melrose Mandalorian. But, oh, 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 yeah. And the speaker. The speaker. Decent quality. And it's loud. So regardless of what I do, whether I go Arduino or I find a board that's very similar, I don't know. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. But the speaker looks like it's in great condition. And it's got a really nice lock-in system, which, again, I screwed down so I knew where things went. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if I use this electronics, I don't know if I want to just leave the switch on at all times. Because I don't want a big red switch hanging out here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put, like, a, like a, a detail here, you know. And then it, it'll just look like something that's there. And I can slide it up and down. Maybe I'll make uh, an actual, hold on. A function a small version of one of these activation style deals this is a, a solid aluminum block that was turned that I got locally for my birthday a couple of years ago actually every year I try to get myself one nice thing uh, this year I got this rad little nugget and a few years ago I got myself this Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi um, I guess the guy beat it up to make it look like uh, you know a piece that he saw online that was all banged up and everything. So I'm okay with that. I cleaned it up the best I could and, and repainted certain spots. But not to get off topic, but I can find tons of these, you know, with the slide switch. Maybe we could do that here, you know? I don't know. Endless possibilities. I don't really have any end game except for I want an actual blade in here that's acrylic. So let me flip it over. So the only other question now is, I mean, look at it. It looks like a rifle. <laughs> it's not going to be. Um, it's figuring out if I'm going to seal this together and try to work with it like that, or if I'm going to somehow make this a two-piece system but blend these 
seams the best I can or maybe just make one part you know removable or something I don't know that's going to take a lot of planning and um, patience <laughs> it's going to take a lot of patience but I think working out the blade is going to be the first thing the blade has to fit somewhere where I can get LEDs on top of it to fuse it just right and then uh, I get a little surprise what I'm going to do on the blade it's going to be similar to the dark saber but not black so uh, I don't know let me know in the comments if you have any ideas uh, if you've seen someone make a machete that's kind of lightsaber, lightsaber in style. Send me the link or a picture. I'd love to see it. Um, sometimes something will spark an, uh, you know, an interest or some kind of, you know, inspiration. <laughs> Inspire inspiration, and um, it might get me going. I'm watching people actually build their own 3D printed Buzzier laser sabers. <laughs> but um, that's it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Leave feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback too. Creeps positive. Guys, thank you always so much for watching. I can't say that enough. Uh, until next time, I hope wherever you are, you're doing well. Please subscribe if you haven't. It would mean the world to me. Take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye. This is, this is going to be wild. Regardless, this is going to be wild.